Hey guys, I feel like I have to lean up really <laughs> yeah. high so you can see this Get gorgeous sure. box. It's Shannon. And Paul. And we're back with episode number two of Storage Sunday. Yes. So if you did not see last week's Storage Sunday video, I would recommend going back and looking at it. Just in case, I'll kind of give you the breakdown real quick. Every Sunday, Paul and I are going to grab a box or bag of stuff that has been in our storage units or our storage room down in our office or in our office because our office is hoarded up with piles. <laughs> we're just going to grab a random box or bag, show you guys what's inside of it. Some stuff we're going to know what's inside of it, like today. Some stuff yep. we have no idea. Now. We gave the teaser last week that it was going to be Paul's supernatural, supernatural... Al alter alternative horror. Alternative romance. Alternative horror. Yeah. Alternative romance, erotic romance. We don't really know what's in the box. We just know it's all books kind of in that yes. uh, genre. Yeah. So take it away, Paul. All right. So I ended up purchasing these books and it. more. Um but I just happened to find this box okay. um, in one of our storage units that we were moving. Um, so I brought this home. I was going to look these up to list them, but Shannon said, well, I might want to read some. I might. And I thought, well, this would actually be a, be a fun video to do. Because um, where else do you see this many alternative romance it's books in lot. one place? It is a lot. So I'm just going to kind of go through and show you the books. Um, I actually, I showed this one as a teaser at the end of last week's video on Red. A few things from it. So this this is like an anthology. My big fat supernatural honeymoon. Um, some kind of cool titles. I kind of feel there. like here. Can we put this on my lap? I'll turn sideways. Can we put this on my legs? Yeah, maybe. Don't don't rip your leggings. Okay. All now right. you can pull books out and show the camera a little bit right. better. The box was in. I'm the gonna way. go kind of quick. I might read uh, something <laughs> in one of these. Um, we're gonna try and put these in author order because that'd be like collection. So we have beneath the skin. And Past Redemption, both by Savannah Roos. Oh, here's another oh, book by that author. These are from the Darkwing Chronicles. Darkwing Duck. Hey, this is the Darkwing Chronicles 2, book one. Oh, yeah. You might have a whole collection. I might. I like the way that... Beyond I'm, the Pale. I might want to read that. It's got to be a vampire book. Shannon was with me when I bought these books. And a lot of these... So Shannon likes covers of books. I judge a book definitely by its cover. Yeah. I uh, shouldn't, but I do. And I think Shannon pictures herself this way. What is that one? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, that's the that's the look that Shannon likes, but <laughs> I think she pictures herself that way. <laughs> that's how that's how I picture Shannon right there. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> See, all right. when you've been married almost thirty years, you can you can joke like this. With that's each right. Other. I'm not threatened. <laughs> all right, I have fighting attraction. By Sarah Sarah Castile. Let me see. So I think so. This I don't know what you would call this, but this is like uh, the storyline is about guys who fight. Is like it? They're Are they're like in the, in the MMA circuit or boxers or whatever. Oh yeah, he's a top heavyweight fighter. Yeah. And the biggest <laughs> I can't read the biggest gossip in the gym. <gasps> he's a gossiper. A gossiping fighter. That's probably why he has to fight so but much. But he isn't the guy next door everyone thinks he is. No. I bet he's, he's hiding a dark secret. He's a billionaire werewolf, really. He hates himself for it. I might read this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll have to see if we have that full collection. <laughs> this is a hardcover. This is... Oh, deep Kiss of The Winter. Deep Kiss of Winter. And, oh, this is two different, two different authors or two different stories. Uh, Cressley Cole and Gina Showalter. Oh, you have a lot by the same author. There's a bunch of this Cressley Cole in here. I do, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mona Lisa Craving. This is by Sunny. Just Sunny. By Sunny. Yeah, Sunny. And then we have Mercenary. I thought it said Macarena's. <laughs> this, hey, Macarena. this is Mercenaries. This is by Angela Knight. I have more books by Angela Knight somewhere. I know that name. Um, a US, USA Today bestselling author. Yeah. So that look, this, this reminds me of like Game of Thrones, like Call Drago or something. So let's see. Um, okay, the glasses are coming out. Yeah. Trinity Yeager would rather die than be auctioned off as a bride to the freaks of Rapture's colony. Whoa. Well, yeah. There is an alternative. There is an alternative. Woohoo! 
We just had an eBay sale. <laughs> Join Nathan August's star-hopping team of mercenary soldiers. The captain has one condition, that Trinity prove her resilience as the one-night plaything for him and his first officer, Sebastian Cole. Trinity not only see Nathan's bet, but she raises it. <laughs> From the galactic dens of depravity to the far-reaching planets of dominant females, I'm going to read this. <laughs> And strapping male slaves to the violent shadows of an unknown off-world, Trinity joins forces with Nathan and Sebastian to risk flesh and blood and push the boundaries of erotic adventure in order to protect, honor, and serve in the name of duty. Well, they're heroic. They're just like the Marines. <laughs> Speaking of which, for fun, we did buy a, a Harlequin book. Yes. And we gave it to our son, who's a Marine, for Christmas. And yeah. It had a Marine on the cover, like in his dress blues. Unbuttoned. It, Unbuttoned. It, it was not regulation road. Make you know, mine a Marine or yeah, something or like that. Yeah, or a Marine for Christmas or something. Yeah, he didn't think it was as funny as no, we he did. No, he didn't. We thought it was great. Next time we go to one of the events with his unit, we might take the book and just leave it somewhere yeah. randomly. Yeah, we're going to put it... They have a library. Oh, I want to find. I want to find where their library shelf is. And we're just going to put it up there. We know a lot of people. Yeah. In case you're horrified right now, yeah. we know most yeah. of his chain of command in yeah. his unit. So it's okay. It's totally cool. They're amazing people. If it's not totally cool, we're totally cool. We're totally cool with it. <laughs> all right. Beyond the Dark. This is another uh, short stories. Four new, four all new stories of limitless desire. Uh -huh. that, that's much better than limited desire. Oh, Chris Lee Cole. He looks moody. Oh, that's a, this looks like Strider from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Immortals After Dark. Oh, this is the same author. This is the one, he looks like, um, who does he look like? Um, what's his name? Look From there. Lost. Oh, uh, With Jack. red eyes, Jack. but yeah, whatever his name is. He uh, looks like... <laughs> his name was Jack. Yeah. yeah, sorry. He looks like him without the red eyes. Turn and look at it. A vampire lord with the face of a fallen angel, but a heart as cold as ice. Oh. His mortal captive snatched from one imprisonment to another... Peril evening, hang on, his, his mortal captive, snatched from one imprisonment to another peril, even more terrifying. Can a sinister warrior at last choose love over vengeance? No. <laughs> See, what happens when you try to read them all fancy, yeah. you get all tongue-tied. Okay. So now there's a ton of books. Interestingly, that's the name of one of these books. Tongue-tied? <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. You have a see. lot by the same author. I do. I have a whole bunch by Cressley Cole here. Let's take this a look. This is all. All right, Cressley Cole. Dark Desires After Dusk. Dreams of a Dark Warrior. Hey. Demon from the Dark. A Hunger Like No Other. I had one of those the other night. <laughs> then I had a taco bowl and it was, I was good. I don't think that's the right hunger. Dark needs at night's edge. <laughs> Wicked deeds on a winter's night. Hey, winter is coming. Winter is coming. Pleasure of a dark prince. We're not going to let Paul sell these. Kiss of a demon knight. <laughs> no rest. This is how Shannon sees herself. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Maybe I'm projecting. Maybe I'm going to edit this so we're not showing. What does this look like? <laughs> I think you're projecting. Does she have a knife in her garter belt? It, Is that a knife? It, so she's she's wearing she's wearing a short leather mini skirt and over the knee boots and then a has knife. Has like a knife sheath. A, a, yeah, a, a, a knife like on a garter band. But she's gonna get him. Maybe. That's not nice. I think I think I think she, I think the the hunter has turned into the prey in this book. <laughs> she's a Valkyrie assassin. Dispatch to destroy I do him. see myself that yeah. way. Competitors in a legendary hunt. Probably out hunting for toys. Probably. <laughs> so uh, right. I pulled these two books out to show you. These are yeah. also by Sunny. That's the same book as this one, just in a smaller and different color. Oh, sure is. Mona Lisa okay. Craving. And then Lucinda Dangerously. Also by Sunny. Yeah. Now you have a whole bunch by... Alyssa Day? Alyssa Day. Well, those are a different author. Okay. I don't know. So, here we go. Alyssa Day. Atlantis Unleashed. I have some Atlantis books right now. I might have the full collection. I might be able to make a full collection. Um, Atlantis Betrayed. Atlantis Awakening. Atlantis Rising. Atlantis Unmasked. 
Atlantis Redeemed. That might be the full collection right there. I don't know. Maybe. Apparently, that's for those of you who like Aquaman, the new version, they might be for you. These are all by the same author. Okay. Touch the Dark. It's tough to do that. It keeps moving away. Embrace the Night. And Claimed by Shadow. These are these are all, I think these are all like the same character. They all look like the same person on the front. Cassandra Palmer, Cassandra Palmer, Cassandra Palmer. Yeah, Cassie. I guess she's now Cassie. This is all the same author, so I have something to say about these books since you want to talk okay. about. I see myself like this. Let me see. Getting bitten by a vampire. Ah. Who doesn't want to get bitten by a, va by a vampire? I can't talk today. <laughs> or really, I see myself like this. Destined for an early grave. Not. That's. <laughs> That's not what I. It's horrible. That's not what I meant. I was just reading the book. Okay. I like. She is tough cookies, man, and she's wearing. Yeah. I imagine those being Christian Louboutin high heel booties. They're not, yeah. but that's how I imagine it. Lula because Rota, uh, her Lululemon leggings. Lululemon leggings. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I could. I could be like her. Anyway, okay. This. I'm not destined for an early grave. All right. Book. So these that. are all by Janine Frost. First Drops of Crimson, uh, <laughs> Destined for an Early Grave. This is the a Night Huntress novel. Uh -huh. She's me a Night Huntress. Well, you know, I was having a really hard time sleeping. Yeah, so but now we fixed that. I could have been a Night Huntress. The Eternal Kiss of Darkness. Oh, and look, she has a cat. That could be me with a cat. One grave at a time. Apparently cat. she likes the graves. She does, yeah. She's wearing the same outfit there on the front. So. Okay. Okay. Those are the same off. Her. Okay, this is Karen Marie Moaning. Moaning? 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 Oh, here comes more from that same author. The Immortal Highlander. Dark Fever. I like the lamp. These are all by that same author. Okay. Dream Fever. I think this. I think that these are all like a uh, Scottish line. Yeah, this one definitely is. Oh, that's going to be a pit right the there. The Dark Highlander. Yeah, the Dark Highlander. Yep. Journey to a world of ancient magic, breathtaking sensuality, thrilling time travel. Journey to the world of the Dark Highlander. Crisscrossing the continents and the centuries. Here is a novel as gripping as it is sensual. An electrifying adventure that will leave you breathless. Cool. Yeah. I am Dagus... Uh, let's see. I am Dagus McKeltar. A man with one good conscience and 13 bad ones. Driven <laughs> to sate my darkest desires. From his penthouse lair high above Manhattan. Who doesn't have a penthouse lair He's high above Manhattan? He's a Scottish Highlander living in a penthouse in Manhattan? That's his version of Highland. I must need to read these. Yep. <laughs> the Highlander's Touch. Spell of a Highlander. Kiss of the Highlander. Beyond <laughs> the Highland Mist. Okay, then we have Blood Fever. So this is the Fever line. I had a Fever book there. Uh, and then, let's see. Fay Fever. Well, oh, that's going to be about, like, the Fay. He calls me his queen of the night. I'd die for him. I'd kill for him, too. That's like Shannon. She'd kill for me. <laughs> Somebody tried to hurt you. To tame a Highland warrior. Okay, right, and this and then... is the last stack as a different author. I mean, right. we might have shown this author already, but Paul has piles everywhere. I do. This is, this is like how I, I... It's just piles everywhere. Angela Knight. Yeah. Angela Knight, author of Jane's Warlord. Let's see. Master of the Night. Oh, he's like a new Fabio. That's Nabio. He kind of looks like, um, what's his name? Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Oh. <laughs> he kind of looks like a long-haired Mark Wahlberg. He gives you good vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might. <laughs> If you like Alpha Heroes, Wild Rides, and Pages That Sizzle, you're going to love this by J.R. Ward. Oh, what? J.R. Ward. Do you have J.R. Ward? No, no, I don't no. think so, but J.R. Ward has it, a lot of books. All right. In her youth, fairy princess Nineveh Moro, engaged in magic and evil forces, rendered her an orphan. Isolated and incapable of trusting in anyone's survival. But after years of hiding on Earth, she attracts attention with her powers once more from more knights than she can handle. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So Master of the Night, Master of Dragons was that one. Master of Wolves is. 
<laughs> That's not how you say it. Master that. of the Moon. Master of Swords or S words. You know, you say that and people are going to think that you really don't know how to talk. They know I know how to talk. They know. It's Master of Swords. You don't see the comments. <laughs> I'm doing my Sean Connery Jeopardy impersonation. Our, our normal viewers, of course, know, but people yeah. that are seeing you for the first time. Master of Five. If you're seeing me for the first time, most of the videos will not you. be like this. <laughs> and you're this far in. Bless you. <laughs> Master of Fire and. Oh, this is just Guardians. I feel like I feel like this should has be a master. Yeah, this has title of it, title envy. This should be like Master of Guardians. These are different characters. Uh, Rian Arvid is a temporal enforcer, a superhuman cop from a future sworn to protect the innocent from time traveling criminals. But when a group of murderous fanatics called the Zirin trap Rian in the year two thousand and nine, that's the past. <laughs> when was this? The book only written? person she can turn to is a handsome twenty first century warrior with a mysterious origin. Okay, here. I'm going to look and see when it was published. You had one more book that you had pulled off to the side. I did. Yeah, okay. Where is it? This is another anthology. 1001 Dark Nights. There's a bunch of these, and they have... Yeah. I kind of want to read it. It's a Billionaire Builders novella. A Billionaire Builders? Yeah, by Jennifer Provost. And I had just... I had just... Like, before I opened the box mm -hmm. up and did all these, I, this was on top. I flipped it open and saw... Let's see... This is copyright 2009. Why are they? Why is it the future then? I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Wow, that that has some language in it. <laughs> Let's see if I can read it. Brady cleared his throat. Um, we're not lovers, just work partners. His voice held a clip of annoyance, as if he hated the idea of them being linked. Charlie ignored the flash of hurt that caught her on the chin like a sucker punch. Damn, he still didn't think much of her, even after all this time. Had it been childish to hope these past months had bonded them? Maybe it was all in her head. Maybe he still looked at her as a chore and thought her ideas were juvenile. Her heart squeezed, but she fought past it, pissed that she still cared. I'm going to have to give a warning on this video. <laughs> will Brady and Charlie ever get together? I don't know. <laughs> well, buy this Paul, book and find out. Paul will find out later. Probably not. <laughs> so those are your, your books. Did you want to say anything about books. those? And then we have one wrap up and then we need to finish the video. Because it's yeah. already 18 minutes in. So what's sad is, uh, so I have no idea what I'm doing with these books. They, they, <laughs> they, they will either be listed for sale or they will be donated. Or, or Paul's going to read or them. Or Shannon will be keeping them. Um, no, I just want to read the time traveling one. Or the, the galaxy hopping one. I forget which one that was now. I don't remember. You're going to have to go back and watch Oh, it might video. be this one. The Mercenaries. Oh, the one you put off to the yeah. side. I have lots of them. All the by its lone <laughs> Yeah, all by its lone <laughs> friends. <laughs> um, so, so anyway, I was just sorting this box out with you guys. I had not looked in this box in years. We bought all these during, during the pandemic when everybody was having to stay at home. And so... That would have been a good time to sell them. They were a good idea at the time. They may not be such a good idea now. I don't know. Shannon don't know. may like some of these and enjoy them. This one only, this one came from Ed McKay. We yeah. used to have an Ed McKay here. We did. They're gone. Okay. Now we have a Mr. Mike's. So was that it with the I books? I think that was it. I think I think, think I think I told you what, what my reasoning was for buying them. My hopes and my dreams are that these can go on to a good home where people will like them, cherish them, love them. Sounds like a good goal. Yeah. Okay, yep. we're going to give you a quick update from the last video. We oh, had, yeah, that's right. We had talked about these on the video, and then I couldn't find them on the video. Yep. So we found them and are going to show you here. In case anybody left comments saying, hey, we want to we wanna know about those LOL dolls. If nobody <laughs> left a comment, well, then I well, guess you didn't care. Well, you're starting to find out about them, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we bought these two. I will give Paul this one. Okay. It's heavier. We bought these two bags filled with LOL yep. doll stuff. He has a bag. Oh, you're showing the price already. Sorry. You're giving it away. Nope. He has a bag filled with dolls. That's a much bigger bag than this one, but they also are much They're bigger. They're soft, yeah. This uh, actually, you have pets in there too. Yeah, a few. Lol pets. pets and babies and uh, like little the little sisters for Lol. Then we have this bag, which is just absolutely stuffed full of all their clothing, bottles, shoes, accessories. Now we paid way too much for these things. I'm I'm positive. Given the effort that's going to have to go into to these, yes, we paid way too much. You can turn it around. So we paid $50 yep. per bag. 
And then there's a buyer's premium on top yeah. if you use a credit card. That's it's right. only a couple percent. Yeah, but, four percent or something. Um, Plus tax. Yeah, this is fun, and we couldn't leave them behind. But it's it was <laughs> it's, a lot of. It's going to be a lot of work. And it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a ton of work, work for Shannon. Yeah, Paul's, Although, Paul's not going to do anything with these. Although, no, I, I might pull these out. And I might arrange them. I'll act out the stories. Ah. <laughs> or while Paul's upstairs watching TV at night, I will make him dress all the little balls so I can sell them. In my head, I'll be acting out the stories. <laughs> all right, so that's the update. That is the LOL stuff. It's going to go back into my office after this video and probably sit there for several more years. Yep, until they compost. Yeah. Pretty much. That's what we have. We don't have death piles. We have composting piles. That's right. We just compost in a different way than your average person. Yes. Okay. You want to wrap this up? Yep. It's just about lunchtime. So if you happen to have a hunger like no other, make sure to eat. That's right. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed spending a little bit of goofy time with us. And um, I hope that you guys have something to read and have fun with like we do. And now Paul and I are going to pick our favorites and film a thumbnail for this, yep. for this video. So, all right. See you guys. See you.